Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome to Jalopy. Oh my god, it's loud. Cool. Audio. Master volume. You really... This is louder. Much better. Oh my lord, my ears actually feel something now. Guys, this is Jalopy. I have not played this game. I have seen this game. I have wanted to play this game. I also want to find out if it has controller support. Let's find this out. I'm just plugging my controller. Okay, where's the cord? Haha, <laughs> there's the cord. No. There we go. Let's look at the Jalopy at Grand Journey East. Uh, we're going to do a new game, of course. Warning, start a new game. Will erase your save data? Are you sure? We don't have a save data. So, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, loading. Want more grip? Try swapping tires around uh, so the compound with the highest condition are at the front of the car. Oh. Duh. Wake up. Und Luft Lutfi. Wake up. Wake up! Ah, awake finally. Hmm, stay in bed any longer and the day will make fools of us both. Oh, it's one of those moving texture things, I'm gonna get a headache. Bugger. Come now, I have something important to show you. Come, come, it's just outside. I'm attempting to walk right now. Okay, so I can't actually play with the controller. The hell do we live in? Aha. I thought we were doing tutorials. June 1990. Huh. Oh, dope. Oh, look at that movie thing. This here is a Leica 601 Deluxe. Ow. Dang it. Something of an engineering legend in the GDR. Oh, okay. 0 to 60 kilometers per hour in 22.5 seconds. The top speed of 100 kilometers. All at the economical rate of 9 kilometers per liter. That sounds like shit. I don't know kilometers to miles per hour conversion, but I do know the 0 to 60 in 22.5 seconds is shit. I'm pretty sure that's like 30 miles per hour. Um, I also don't know liters to gallons, so that doesn't help me either. But, damn, that... <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That is if we can get it running. Oh, gosh, dang it. I'm out. Peace. I had the weirdest feeling. We're going to have to grab this door, I feel. Yep, there's a missing door right there. Not to worry, I have everything ready. We'll just need to build her an engine, slap on some wheels, fit the passenger side door, and give her a bit of a clean. So let's get started. Fit the replacement door. It's over on top of that scrap pile behind you. Oh, we're ahead of the game. If you squint, you'll be able to see it. I, I got it. It's right there. Plug her in there. Oh, less than elegant, but it's okay. I agree. Right, now let's fit the engine. A little black latch. Can you see it? Black latch should be just under the steering wheel. There we go. Okay, now open the band bonnet, and I can walk you through this. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, looks like she needs an engine, some spark plugs, uh, a lot of things. A radiator, probably. I don't know. Got a load of stock parts set in the garage. Go collect one, and I'll walk you through what it does. Dude, your, your jacket here. Oh, and it gets thinner as I get closer. Oh, my lord. Parts of that. Oh, hi. Stock engine. 
stock fuel tank, carburetor, water tank, ignition coil, air filter, battery. Alright. It's engine block you got there, the core of your Leica setup. The engine block defines core performance of your Leica, including the top speed and acceleration. A poorly kept engine block will mean your Leica will struggle to perform. Go ahead and drop it into the engine. You got it, boss. Big lump metal. There's a fuel tank which holds the fuel here, like a few notes on this one. First of all, it's gravity fed, so you'll need to open the bonnet and fill directly to the tank when refueling. You got it. Also, your Leica is running a two stroke engine. This means you'll want to mix some oil to the fuel mixture. Crap. Failure to mix oil in the fuel will mean the engine won't be lubricated and will wear at an increased rate. Too much oil, though, and you'll start to see performance drop. Keep your fuel tank well maintained, let it get too beaten up, and it will start leaking fuel everywhere. Joy. Go ahead and drop it into the engine. <laughs> okay, you're holding the air filter, a non essential component. The air filter isn't necessarily required to run your Leica, but it's a good idea to have one as it will reduce the rate of wear to your engine block. Go ahead and drop it into the engine. I'll be right back, bro. All right, there's a crouch. It's good to know. I'll get the carburetor, the battery, that. I can't carry three. Gosh dang it. Can I open these, by the way? Oh, this has oil in it. So, yeah, I'll be opening those later. Awesome. There's room in the trunk for stuff. Is that the road? Does our trunk show the road? That's not safe. Carburetor, yep. Fuel consumption of the car, which turns control how many kilometers per liter you'll get out of your Leica. Good, well-maintained carburetor, meaning you use less fuel, can drive further for cheaper. Go ahead and drop it in there. You got it. That's the battery, which provides electrical charge for your Leica. The battery allows you to use lights, the radio, radio, the car ignition, that kind of thing. If your Leica won't start in the first place, to check the battery. Go ahead and drop it in the engine. You got it, boss. Ignition coil. Channel electrical charge to the engine. Bad condition made it uh, struggle to start the engine. You got it. So we can have three ignition coils in there. All right. Cool. Just take this one, then. Water tank which provides water to help keep your windscreen uh, clean of dirt. Kept in good condition, oil start to leak water, and you'll soon find yourself driving without any vision. Drop it in the engine. You got it. Okay, that's everything installed. Good job. Now to fill it up. We're getting nowhere without fuel. What? Dude, what on earth? Okay, I didn't click that time. You still need a car with petrol, oil, water. Go ahead and collect them, and I'll walk you through refueling your car. Oh, thank you, because I have no idea how to do a two-stroke engine. Fuel can. Water bottle. Two-stroke oil. Tires. Oh, okay. Juggling as easy as one, two, right-click? Okay. Fuel you're holding there, right? If you use that on the fuel ca uh, cap of the tank we just installed, you'll begin filling the car with fuel. Try holding it there to fill quicker. Alright. It's out. I got a bottle of water. Good job. If you use that on the water tank installed, then we can fill it with water. Alright. Go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. I'll drop it for now. I kind of want to pick those back up. It's two stroke oil you've got in your hands. You want to add a drop of it to improve the fuel mixture, which affects things like performance and engine wear. A lean mixture will result in a faster car, but with increased wear to the engine, a rich mix will result in the opposite. Try using it on the full tank of fuel to affect the fuel mixture. Alright. 
lead oil mixture. Go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. Okay. Excellent. Let's move on to the tires. Got it. Do something about the tires on the car. So as you can see, we don't get very far without any wheels. Right. So car jack in the garage. Bring it over and we can get started. I'm saving that. All right, we'll jack up this side. Place the jack. Now twist the handle. You got it? You got it. You'll notice you can now use a tire iron, but first we'll need to fit road tires. Go ahead and drop that. Good, now you just fit the road tire to the axle. Oh, there we go. I'm trying here. What does she want us to do? Very difficult. Actually, I wonder. <laughs> no, I think it's actually going to be easier like this. I'm attempting here. Road tires. Tires are designed to perform best in the dry and road. Right. I feel I have to hold this up. I have no idea what's going on. I will be back once I figure this out. I got it. Okay, so I have to have this picked up first. And then I gotta get the tire iron. That's the problem here. Um. Oh, sweet! I can just. There we go. Now the same again for the other wheel. Beautiful. Okay, this game is a lot more hands-on than I thought it was gonna be. You got it. Yep. Nope, that the wrong way. <laughs> All right, we're going to do it on this side. Bam. I want to close that first. I actually just had to change my tire yesterday. It was extremely annoying. I was like, literally, I was driving on the freeway, and all of a sudden my tire is just like, like, I just like, oh, you have low tire pressure. And then, bam. It's just like, oh, it, it went down, like, rapidly from 34 PSI to zero. It was not a fun time. Not fun at all, but. All right, now let's see how she runs. Uh, I should probably drop her down first. Yeah. I was already planning on looting your garage, dude. Alright, any spares in the garage? Anything at all? Oh, we have money. Okay. If I go through here. And I just... No? 
we're leaving, so I think it's nicer if I just, uh, my garage. All right. Just slam that down. You're good to go. Before you set off, uh, are you getting familiar with some important? Oh, let's get you familiar with some important commands. Can I close the door? Here we have a maintenance manual. Maintenance manual. It will cover the basic runnings of your car. And here you'll find information regarding basic overview of the like of vehicle details of your current engine setup, listings of the cargo we're currently carrying, that sort of thing. You can turn the page by selecting the top corners of each page. All right. Uh, blah, blah. Okay, so Soviet Union showing great strength and mission and perseverance. Launched the first being into orbit. Blah, blah. Today we probably remember that name by enabling you to traverse the globe with your very own Leica. Okay. Okay. Deutsch Demokratie Republic. Um, the Dutch... Or the German, Dem I don't know. Something Democratic Republic, okay. Alright, we'll have a look through this later. For now, go ahead and drop that. Alright, next you'll see the map. There you go. This one's important as it allows you to select which route you'll be taking between each destination. So we're in Berlin, okay. Thank you, that helps so much. I have no idea how long I'm be recording, by the way. Alright. Once the route has been selected, uh, we're then committed to driving to it. Alright, and again, you can turn pages by selecting the top corners. The other pages include your statistic tracking and unlocks tracking. Ooh! You can have a look through that later. Go ahead and close that for now. No! And finally, the keys. Thank you. Those are important. If you drop them into the ignition, then she's all yours. We're closing that. We'll open that. I'll have to hold it. Beautiful. Head towards Dresden. You got it. If you're traveling to Autobahn for the first part, this should give you a chance to get the grips with the Leica. All right. Oh, okay, so it's already picked. Event log, stamp collection, interesting. Oof. Alright, steering in this, not fun. A little bit, I know how to go forward. And I steer with the gamepad. All right, I can. Interesting. I'm going to plug that then. What is going on here? Options. Pad and put keyboard and mouse steering wheel driving. There we go. Ha ha! Driving is actually a thing now. We are on our way to Dresden. I scared both my sleeping puppers. So we're gonna get to Dresden in this episode, and that'll be all. Uh, I believe there's like stopping quests, all that nonsense. We are up to sixty miles per hour. It looks like we're at one point five things. Oh, I love these in tunnels. I don't. You don't see these in America, unfortunately. 
I remember the first time I saw this, we were driving through Mont Blanc, and I was just like, what's that for? Apparently, uh, yeah. Apparently, that these are for, if there's an accident, it helps maintain that there's a more likely way of putting the fire out, I think that's what it was. I don't know, it's been... Shit. I that was half my life ago. I'm old. God damn. But I so far love this game. This is like such a interesting idea. Ooh, a war memorial. I like it. Can I slow down a bit? Is there like a way of like getting out, like stopping, looking? Alright, we're on a roundabout, so I'm just gonna go this way. Interesting, though. I like this so far. This is... The engine sounds pretty interesting right now. Uh, yeah, y'all hear that? Ah, it's good to be at the road again. Yep. Such a long time since I traveled outside of East Berlin. Oh, oil. Even longer leave. Oh gosh, dang it. Even longer leaving East Germany. Alright, I don't want to hit potholes or anything like that. Apparently staying in your lane is kind of imperative. It seems we're in a lemon though, guys. Check this out. Wine. Yeah, duh. All right, let's keep going. We just got wine. Pretty sure like, the whole point... I couldn't pull over more. There was a, there's a mountain right there. That was absolutely terrible, like, pulling over, though. I don't really think I tried hard enough. But, yeah, this is, uh, this is an interesting thing. I want to know the premise of this. I think this is just, uh, just the beginning. I think you're new to the road, so I'll bring you up to speed on how this works. Travelers can only call themselves such as they remain in motion. To achieve this, we must learn to live off the fruits of the road, fruits the road presents us. Right? Okay. Let's get out. We'll close the door. Don't even know what's in here. Shut up, dude. All right. More wine. Perfect. Calm your tits, dude. Like, golly. I just had to go pick up some road wine. But I I recall correctly, there is a route to get to Slovenia, and that is what my part of my heritage is. Um, so I would love to probably do that layout for it. Uh, we'll have to see. I don't know. We'll think of this once we actually start this up. I want to see like what the main routes are, what the, like, everything is, because this is just the tutorial episode, you guys. Uh, that's all it is right now. Just a tutorial, so. Alright, the fruits of the road come to us in many forms. An abandoned car can provide us with much-needed replacement tires. Or perhaps a crate at the side of the road will allow us to trade uh, for fuel. Whatever we need, she will provide. We just need faith. 
Ack, watch out. All right, her turning radius is uh is pretty good. Like that that turned a lot quicker than I was expecting. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna have to slam on this button, and get her going. But no, oh my, oh my, we're going downhill now. I can feel it. I can feel the speed, the power. This so far is a pretty fun game, you guys. I'm gonna try avoiding potholes at all costs. Ah, be more careful. Yep, the the windshield's starting to crack. That's uh. That's what everyone likes to see. Hey. Right. No one around us. Let's look at the car. Let's look at the beauty. Road tires. Durability. Three of three. Three of three. Three of three. Hey. I beat her up. That was just uncalled for. Oh my lord, more wine. <coughs> you jerkwad. Hey. Alright, we'll go through here. Dude, calm your butt. I'd be so upset, actually, though, if I saw this happening in real life. I'd be like, mm, no. The engine purrs to life as we drive away to Dresden. God, everyone's so much faster than we are. Oh, my gosh. We're not even at that top speed, by the way, of 60 yet. I'm watching this thing go up. What? Calm down. Wait, can I look back behind me? Golly, people. Ah, there's Dresden, just in the distance. I seize it. Head for the motel. We'll get some rest across the CFR tomorrow. Ah, oh, and we have a bummy thing in our engine. Bummy, bummy, bummy. But, yeah, well, we're going to find the motel and we're going to get some rest. Got to check out this engine. Um, Got to sell some wine. Oh, my Lord. The walls and the gate leading into this town. Oh, we're in the eastern block, that's for sure. All right, motel, where would you be? You're a little creepy looking, dude. Can I roll down your window? Okay, motel. Something in our engine, though, is a little faulty. Alright, that looks like a gas store. So we found that, so I'll need to head there probably tomorrow. But it is getting late. That's a like a shop. I wonder if we can get new cars. That's the exit of town. Oh, she does not sound healthy right now, friends. Not healthy at all. Motel, ha ha, there we go. So we may actually, I might walk over to where we have to go. There's the motel, park outside front. I will not give my bad parking in this. Okay, good, let's check in. Hang on, I gotta roll up your window. Whoa there. You close my door, pal? Judas Priest. I still think this is part of the tutorial, though. I don't think he's supposed to be following me, but first, 
I want to check out what's smoking in the engine. Oh my. Stock air filter, durability one. This is going to be a fun time. Let's see about this motel situation. Ow. Welcome, will you be staying with us tonight? Uh, yeah. It's 20 for the room. Two twenty's pretty good. The wall is in the glove compartment of your car. Go get it so you can pay. You SOB. Keeps their wall in the glove compartment. Like, especially in this little beat-up car. Oh, glove compartment, right. I got a hundred, it looks like, though. That's a pretty good price, I think. Hi again. Let's wait for the room. Be pit be in room 1B, just down the hall. Kindly ask you not to show the guests during your stay. Come. Uh, you can let me into the room. Uh, I have to go disturb other guests. I have to do this. Like, I feel there's, like, a point to her telling me this. Get out of here. Okay, there we go. Please go annoy someone else. I'm going to try the other ones that we already knocked on just to see. Okay. Weird pa painting. All right. And there we go. No, I go in first. I drop a fat deuce. Alright, so we can open these. Pretty nice. Pretty spiffy. I close that door. Huh. Werther, Goose, and Lutfi, in response to your request for the acquisition of one Leica 601 motor vehicle for the purpose of transportation of personal property to be returned to their country of origin, placed on the date of 12-2-1986, we can now inform you that we are unable to approve your support. This request, on the grounds that the government vehicles are not to be used in the transportation of private property, especially to countries outside of fraternal socialist observation, Furthermore, we are compelled to remind you that all communication with countries outside the state's sphere of influence are thoroughly monitored, and as such, we must ask all comrades exercise constant vigilance with regards to any delicate information they may find themselves in possession of. Oh. Keep it. Uh... See you in the next one, guys.